Hi guys, so I'm here today to show you how to put unique standard error bars on a scatter graph in numbers. So the first thing that we need to do is rearrange our data somewhat um, because numbers understands it in a certain way depending on what you highlight. So I'm just going to be putting my time in hours here. We can see that some of the data up here is time after consumption and we see that we have a treatment with water and here with cola. So what we're going to be plotting are our averages. So I'm going to take the averages from here and going to type them in here. So 8.25, 12.325 and 8.05. And then likewise for the cola, 8.15, 625 and 8.2. So now that we have this data, we need to create our scatter graph. And this is where things can get a little bit tricky depending on what you highlight. So here you need to highlight the time and the two data series. That might be a little counterintuitive. You might want to be highlighting it in this way. But as you might find, numbers might not understand it like that. So if you, if you highlight this and you go to chart, you click scatter graph. We get a graph that doesn't seem to look quite right right now. We have all of our points scattered over here. So we're going to go edit data references. We can see it's interpreting it by column. So down here in the bottom left hand corner, we're going to plot rows as series. Now notice what happens now. Now it's plotting the water separate to the cola, which is what we wanted. Now if we go over here onto the right hand side, under format and chart, we can choose legend so that we can be clear on which one is blue and which one is orange. So of course we might want to tidy up this graph with a table title, um, a graph title and axis titles with the variable and the units. But for now I'm just going to show you how to put the standard error bars on. So let's start with the water. So I'm going to click on this data point, this blue one, and you can see it highlights in fact all three of them. So we want y-axis error bars, we'll do positive and negative, but we don't want a fixed value. We want the custom value. So under custom value, this is where you need to be quite careful. You're going to delete what's already there. And you're going to use the custom standard error of mean for the series you've chosen, which for us is water. So that's this data table. Now, instead of selecting just one number, you're going to need to select all of them for the points that have been highlighted. So you can see we've highlighted for 0, 1 and 3. So we're going to highlight all of these together and that is the difference. And we want to hit enter so it's been accepted and do the same thing for negative because we want standard error of, the, error of the mean to be negative as well, positive and negative. And fantastic. So now we can check that we have the correct standard error bars because the largest one here is at the one hour point, and we can see that's also the largest value on our table. So we can repeat that here with the cola, click on the orange time series, positive and negative, we want custom value, delete what's already there, and you're going to select for the whole series. Again, it's not just one point because it's highlighting the whole series, hit enter, and then here again, for the whole series and hit enter. And there we have our standard error bars unique to each series and each point.